Hey guys, Manny Wayne here, and I'm a professional dating coach at Wayne Dating. I want to talk about becoming a text game master, but before that, I want to tell you the three biggest mistakes in text game that most guys make. Now, the romantic connection is the most proven system out there for me to close. However, there are a lot of things outside our control to always consistently establish a romantic connection. Sometimes the girl is in a rush, she has to meet another friend, she has to use the bathroom, she has other errands to run. Whatever the case is, she may feel momentary attraction, but she has other commitments. A lot of guys will land the number and establish a social connection, but will still experience a shitload of flakes. The worst thing is, is when having an awesome interaction and yet still experiencing flakes. I know you've been there before. I know I sure as well I have. And it's not fun at all. It feels as if you're putting in all this work in a game, but yet never landing a date. When I started to learn game and get consistent numbers, man, the flake rate would be so ridiculously high. I sometimes would feel like shit even after getting a number because I already knew the outcome. It put me in a negative headspace and it would make me even feel more eager and needy in the interactions, which never helped at all. Even when I landed numbers, it made me invest more emotionally out of scarcity on what to exactly text a girl, which made me feel imbalanced emotionally and anxiously waiting for a reply. I remember there was this one sexy Russian Spanish brunette girl that really made me hit rock bottom. Her name was Tatiana and I approached her on the train from New Jersey to New York City and we connected for the entire trip. We were flirting and there was some light physical escalation. The attraction was on and I established a connection strong enough to land a number and continue the conversation after in text. Yet that's all that happened. I was so fearful to ask her on a date because it was going so well that I just wanted to keep the conversation going until it was too late. She stopped responding. I was too invested emotionally and anything I sent after that was a no response. I went to see Justin Wayne and I told him about this experience and he made me realize a pattern going on in my follow up text. He basically said, Manny, get to the fucking point with the girl. I realized I was continuously dragging on the text conversation without getting to the fucking point. This was happening with all the numbers I was getting. I was doing decent enough in the interaction, but my balls weren't big enough to schedule a date. I felt you had to say all this magical shit to land a date, but in reality, I was just overcomplicating the situation. After this experience, the next girl I met was at a lounge. Her name was Hillary, and we had instant attraction where I got the makeout and landed the number. And once again, I was falling into the pattern of dragging on the conversation. But there was good enough buildup going on through texting, yet I felt fearful on pulling the trigger for the date. I went to meet Justin Wayne at Good Burger in Union Square, and I was telling him about this cute Spanish chick that I met, and he checked out the texting conversation. And Justin said to me, Manny, get to the point. He literally grabbed my phone and just simply texted her for me. What's your schedule like this week? I was super fearful on her response, but she simply responded the day she was free to meet up without any hesitation. My logistics were bad at that time, except for my parents' office. Justin advised me, Manny, you're going to have to fuck her at your parents' office. And the craziest thing is, I ended up doing such a thing, and she was my fuck buddy for a good year after that. My logistics improved, and after that experience, it made me realize the three biggest mistakes that I was doing with my follow-up text game. The first mistake was dragging on the conversation without getting to the point. I noticed this even with a lot of clients, that they would just drag the conversation with no intention to meet at all. It's like the girl didn't reject you in the interaction, so what makes you fear the rejection by asking her out through texting? The second mistake was being grammatically correct with punctuation marks. Now, I know this sounds silly as hell, but formality can be such a conversational killer, especially over texts. It kills the vibe of the text, especially if you're showing way too much emotion with a million explanation points or asking a girl out with question marks at the end. This shows too much unnecessary investment on your part, and you don't have to be an English teacher to ask a girl out. A third mistake was lacking buildup to recapture the energy from the interaction. The stronger the interaction, the less work you normally would have to do during texting. For those quick number closes or social connections established, the idea is to build up the intrigue in text. This was a huge component missing. The buildup is fun because the chase can be exciting, especially when there's mutual attraction. You obviously want to get to the point, but the idea is to identify where you were in the interaction so you can build up the text interaction strategically from that point. I dove deep into really learning and mastering the most efficient way to text a girl, and more importantly, land the date from stranger approach. In this era, we have become lazy human beings with high expectations that want results as fast as possible. When it comes to texting, we want to do less as possible. I had to go through a bunch of trial and error by developing different types of connections with women, sexual, social, and romantic. Obviously, romantic connection gives you the least amount of work when it comes to texting. Yet, with social and sexual connections, more comfort and buildup is needed in order to land the date. Now, I created Text Game Mastery in order to give you the most solidified way to text women.